Hello Internet people. In this video, I'll talk about how much does it actually cost to run a website. I'm gonna first show you the first year cost and then years after because it changes after first year. And you'll notice that there's actually some surprising cost that you didn't actually even think about yet. Like for example, paying celebrities to endorse your website. Like Arnie. I don't do requests. What the heck Arnie? I thought we had a deal. With punch. All right, I'm going to talk about starting a small website that you're going to manage yourself with little or no help. So I'll cover the bare minimum you need and then I'll mention some nice to haves that you can add as you go and all the costs are per year. So let's just jump into it. So how much does it cost to actually start the website? So for the first year about $90. This includes the VAT and this is, I think, the minimum you need to start a good website on a reliable web hosting provider with the domain and some small additions to it as well. You'll see that in a second. And for those people that need a bit help here and there, actually, it's easy to spend $200 on a new website, but it really depends what you need. And I'll cover that in a second. Then let's take a look what the costs are after first year. So that's usually web hosting goes a bit more expensive. So it's between $125 to $160. And this includes the VAT. So it little bit depends which uh, hosting provider you choose. And you can spend a bit more if you want to have uh, add-ons on it, but it's not as much as first year. And I'll show you now in more detail what that entails. And Arnie will tell you why you should keep watching this video. Because I'm going to say, please. So let's start with the first year. The starting cost, obviously, I already mentioned the hosting is about $90. You really want to get a good web hosting because that's the base for everything. If you get a, a very cheap one, it might be too slow or they might have some limitations what you can install on it. And we don't want that. So this is the most important thing you can get when starting a website. Now, I do want to mention that there's free hosting. And for example, there's very affordable hosting called Hostinger. And I think it costs something like $20 first year. So you can get cheaper, but please bear in mind that you want quality as well. One tip I want to give you when buying a web hosting is actually always go through the steps. So for example, here I used host Papa, but even they do this. So they advertise, for example, here $3.95 a month. But then actually when you go in it and then you change, for example, this from 36 months to 12 months, it's already $5.95 and pretty much all the web, host, web hosting providers do this. So always double check that. And usually the prices are without VATs. And always keep in mind that these prices are for the first years and then the regular price is actually what they're gonna start charging you after the first years. So you avoid situations like this with your hosting. Sir, you have to pay us double. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Brought to you by GetOutOfHere.com Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. The good thing is, for the domain name, most web hosting providers actually add a free domain name to the first year package. So you don't actually need to buy it, but it really depends on the hosting provider. So check what they offer. And then you might want to buy a WordPress theme. That's about $59. I must say that the free ones are almost as good as the paid ones. The paid ones have more functionalities, but the free ones are also very good. So that's why it's not really necessary. But if you have something specific, the WordPress themes have very nice designs and things like that. So that's what you're actually paying for. They look much nicer when you pay for them. No problemo. And then you might need a logo design or some page designs. And on Fiverr or somewhere, you can hire somebody to actually design the logo, or you can use a logo maker that will do it for you. But they look a bit, well, like stock photos. They're a bit, yeah, they don't look that professional, but to start off, that's fine. And then maybe you want some paid plugins like Elementor Pro or uh, similar, where you can actually have a page builder and some extra functionalities with that. So that means in total, bare minimum is about $90 and then you can easily go above 200 if you start adding stuff to your website. 
And I just want to mention that actually on my website, you can find all my recommendations for plugins, for web hosting, domain uh, providers, even for freelancers and things. So just check it out if you're interested to see what I use and what I recommend. I'll leave the link in the description so it's easy for you to just go and check it out. So you don't feel overwhelmed with all the options like Travolta. And then if you look at the costs after first year, web hosting goes up. Usually it's somewhere between $130 or $160. So you need to pay a bit more than first year. So that's with every hosting. So just pay attention how much you're going to pay after the first year. So all the web hosts, they actually give you nice discounts just to get you in, but then the prices go up. So just don't be surprised. And then domain name, it's about $10 if you get it from namecheap.com. Uh, and they offer also a free privacy protection. So I would recommend after first year, just go to Namecheap. It's quite easy to transfer your domain to, to, to Namecheap. And then you don't need the WordPress theme if you already bought it. So that's why you don't need, need that. Same thing with logo design. You might need other design stuff, but I'm going to cover that in a bit. And then maybe you still need to have license for some paid plugins. So I added a $15 for that. And in total, after the first year, you'll need about $140 to $170 as a bare minimum. And then if you want to add a bit more than about $150 to $185. So choose a good web hosting. Otherwise, the bad ones will start asking questions like, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> so actually, there's other potential costs that you might want to consider, and those are if you need something custom made, then you need a developer. So if you need something designed or actually developed, then you need to hire somebody and you can get them from 15 to $20. They probably won't be in Europe or US. So there will be uh, somewhere in, a, in, in the cheaper countries, but you can get a decent one for this price. And then you might want to consider stock photos. There are free stock photo libraries and some of them are okay, but then if you want to have a bit more high quality pictures, then uh, you want to just upgrade your imagery, then you need to pay about uh, $3 per image. Then you have online marketing, and for that you can spend from 100 euros to thousands. It really depends what are you after, what niche, and how much you want to invest in it. Oh, really? And SEO services, some people say you should invest in this, but to be honest, I think there's only that much your SEO person can do if you don't have any content on your website. So uh, there's great plugins that you can cover the basic SEO, but then the biggest thing with free SEO is your articles, your blog post. So if you, you're doing all that yourself, then I think that's gonna drive your traffic anyway. And then, you might want to actually hire somebody to do the, your articles that will drive the SEO traffic. So they cost from about, I think $25 for 500 words, they go upwards from there. And that's it, that's all you need for your website. So the core thing you need is actually there. It's the hosting and the domain name. That's how you start with it. If nothing else, just get those two and get started. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!